Do you want to hear a funny story? So I went to the bin store and I was picking up a shower curtain and I thought it was this, but in a blue and white like ombre. And instead, I got this. And it's kind of too cute to get rid of. So I'm, I'm keeping it. It's, it's cute. Sun's so bright, so I'm gonna try and make this quick, but good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. So I am currently going into the drugstore. I need a couple of things. Then I'm going to do some groceries, and I figured I would take you guys along with me today. So we're gonna do like a grocery vlog slash the fourth I haven't ate breakfast and my tummy is rumbling. It's gonna be like a grocery vlog slash like what I did for Canada Day, so I'm gonna insert those clips as well. And then I have a few other clips of Scarlet that I've been taking like in without vlogs that I want to include in this one. So there's gonna be clips from today, there's gonna be clips from last weekend, and then there's gonna be some random clips of Scarlet. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I think Shoppers opens at eight o'clock, so I have two more minutes to go. So I might as well just chat with you guys here. So I am looking for a body moisturizer, a face moisturizer, some shampoo for my boyfriend, possibly some makeup, We'll see. I'm really just needing a couple of things. I don't want to go too overboard here, but yes. So really excited to go into shoppers. I love shoppers and we need food really bad. We ate basically everything. We ate all of our meat. We ate all of our fruits. We have like nothing left. So I am really excited to go grocery shopping. Let's go to one of my face favorite places, Shoppers Drug Mart. Okay guys, so for this part of the video, I'm gonna be walking you through what we did on Canada Day. So my sisters and I ended up going to a bin store because they had like a Canada Day activity. So basically it's all a bunch of like returned items and overstocked items for like Walmart and Amazon. They have them all in bins and if you could find a pencil, you want a surprise prize like mystery prize so we all ended up finding a pencil so my one sister got a like essential oil diffuser I think another one got a wireless speaker and I ended up getting these like smart plugs and a pack of I think they're fake Pokemon cards but whatever it was really really fun and we typically go there every couple weeks sometimes I go there especially on Wednesdays when it's two dollar a day to fill a bag especially for like my small business for crafting so that was really fun and then we headed over to a chip stand which was amazing we all had chicken fingers and fries except for my other sister ordered her boyfriend a burger so we ended up going for that then we ended up going strawberry picking which was so much fun which you guys are going to be seeing so many clips of that I need to put it up for when I'm picking strawberries. Do you like the sound out when it pops? Oh, wait, you're freezing? You're gonna have some editing to do. Why? All my side are strawberries that have been squashed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm finding a lot on your side. There's a lot over here. I didn't go over there. Why not? I skipped a section because there were squashed ones on the ground. Oh, well, they're all over here. Mm. But also, a lot of them have holes. 
Like this one, see, I just squashed it. So here's my basket. Oh, this one has a hole in it. <laughs> my legs are so red from the hay. I'm almost full. You guys missed the whole section. But strawberry picking was a blast and the strawberries were amazing. It was only $17 to fill a really big basket and we were there for a really long time. I am definitely going to be going back there um, this summer to get some strawberries. But Chopper's Jug Mart opened so let's go in. I got my stuff. It came up to $70. I had $20 worth of points to redeem, so I redeemed them because I said 70 bucks is a lot. But now I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I will show you what I got from shoppers when I get home. Uh, right now, I'm gonna see if I can go to the one across the street because they take a dollar for their carts and I don't know if I have a dollar. If not, I'm going to a different grocery store where they take a quarter. So it's all gonna depend on what kind of change I have. So let's go grocery shopping. I am hungry. Okay. Grocery trip number one is done. I ended up spending 124, which was pretty good, uh, considering I did buy the Head and Shoulder Shampoo for $14. Um, I'd say that's pretty good. I forgot hand sanitizer again. I looked at shoppers, couldn't find any, and I forgot to look for some here, but I'll just have to take some from work to keep in here. But so for 114 for food, I think I did pretty good. Now I'm gonna go to the other grocery store I go to to get meat specifically. Typically I get one big bulk box of chicken, and then I pick up like a few smaller things to take us through the week. All the groceries I bought today will last us seven-ish days, and then the meat will also take us for like seven days so that's not too too bad so they open at a nine o'clock so I should be able to get there right for opening hoping for some chicken and hoping for some good meat I'm home I put the groceries away well we put the groceries away my boyfriend and I put the groceries away and I'm making breakfast I'm gonna have some waffles and then I'm gonna have some bacon and some fresh strawberries from when we did strawberry picking and then we're gonna go to work I gotta go check on the baseboards, do some paperwork and all that kind of stuff. Hello. Here. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from shoppers. So, time to make some waffles because I am starving. I'm gonna have one with strawberries that I picked and bacon. We don't typically get waffles, but because I have fresh strawberries, yes. And there's a fan in the background because it's so hot. Um, my food's cooking. You can probably hear it in the background, but I'm just going to show you quickly what I picked up. So the first thing I got was the Life Brand Dry Skin uh, Lotion. Um, it smells really, really good. I had one like this, but it was in like the cocoa type of scent. Um, this one here is just really nice and fresh. I buy these specifically for like shaving cream because shaving cream is just too expensive and it doesn't work as well as like moisturizer in my opinion. And I just like how smooth my legs are after I use a um, moisturizer after shaving or like for shaving. So the one that I currently have is like so close to running out. So I picked this one up. Um, it smells amazing. It smells so nice and fresh. So I got this. My boyfriend needed shampoo. So I got him his head and shoulders shampoo. Shampoo for men is so hard because he doesn't like Axe and he doesn't like Old Spice. And it's like there's nothing else really that's out there. We tried, well, he tried a Dove shampoo and it didn't work for him. So we're just back to good old head and shoulders. It lasts him a really long time. 
So for $14, it better work and it better last a long time for it being a drugstore shampoo. This was only seven and this will last me like a year plus. So I'm not, I'm never too mad about the cost of this because it lasts a really long time and it does its job and it serves its purpose. So seven bucks for this and that is great. Toothpaste, because I needed toothpaste. This was actually on sale and it's my favorite toothpaste. This was like $3.29, 25 cents, $3.25. Um, so yeah, this is my favorite toothpaste and that is why I buy it because I love it. It's the blue. Oh, love it. So wait, is this the right one? Yes, it is. Uh, so yes, it is the Crest Pro Health Sensitive Enamel Shield toothpaste. I like both the versions. The sensitive one I try and get because my teeth are sensitive, but the other version is the one that I love. It's like the regular one, but if I can get the sensitive one for cheaper, I do. It just works better. Well, it works better for my teeth. Okay, and then I needed um, moisturizer for my face. I love the ordinary moisturizer. Like, I want to get it again, but because there's nowhere to get ordinary in like my town and I don't want to wait for Sephora. I ended up picking this up. It is the e.l.f. skin holy hydration face cream with hyaluronic acid and peptides. That is why I picked it up because there's hyaluronic acid and peptides in here. The only thing is it has a fragrance so I'm not sure about that. It was $16 so it's not like overly expensive and there's not like a ton in here like there's a good amount but it's not like a big bottle where it's gonna last me like a long time so by the time I finish this I should be heading to a Sephora where they sell the ordinary so I'm hoping that this works well the only thing I'm scared about is the fragrance in here like let me just apply a little bit I think you're moving because I'm applying like it smells nice and fresh I just kind of wish that they didn't have fragrance in here. I like the consistency. I don't mind the smell. It feels nice. So we will see. But I do prefer moisturizers that don't have a fragrance in them. But I think this will be okay for like the time being and to serve its purpose of just being that like replacement moisturizer until I get the ordinary. I got three more things. Sorry if you're moving, you're on like an ironing board. This was on sale for $5. It was the Annabelle Stay On Brow Gel. I got this because I have the ABH like this one. Wait, no, I put it in my bag. It's the clear pomade from ABH. It's like their brow freeze. I hate it. Every single time I use it, I get pimples in my eyebrows and I hate, I just, I don't like it. So I got this hoping that this can just kind of help keep my brows in place. I don't need anything crazy. So I'm hoping for five bucks that this works well. I just put some in, so I guess we will see throughout the day. Um, the e.l.f. one was really good. I really liked that. So then I got this. It is the Quick Dry Nivea Comfort Aluminum Free Deodorant. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to buy aluminum free deodorants, but this one was on sale for the same price as all the other like sale ones. It was only $3.99 and it smells really good and I have good luck with Nivea in general. So I thought I might as well give this a shot and see, but I'm really curious to try a Nivea deodorant. I haven't tried Nivea deodorant before, so that's... I'm gonna be curious and then this I got it is the L'Oreal 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 true match uh, super blendable foundation I got it in the shade 0.5 n so I'm really hoping that this matches um, in some lights it looks like it's gonna be a little too pink but then in some lights it looks absolutely perfect and I absolutely love L'Oreal foundations you know what I think this might actually work. Um, if you heard the beeping, the smoke detector went off because my bacon was done and yeah. But anyway, here it blended into my skin okay. My face is lighter than my arms right now, so I'm going to be curious to try this. If this doesn't work, I might return it. I hate returning things that I've like opened and tried, but if it really doesn't work shade wise, I will return it. And if this doesn't work like at all at all, then I will return it. I hate doing that, but I am at the point where I'm kind of tired of like wasting my money if a product doesn't work. But if I can make it work, I'll keep it. And the last item, I had one more. Or was that all of it? 
Oh, that was everything. Okay, well, time to go upstairs and eat. Scarlet, it's 7.30 in the morning. Here, ready? Get your jacket. Come on. There you go. Ready? Thank you. Again? Thank you. Ready? Are you ready? Here, give mom the jacket. No, no. You could do this all day. Yeah. Say good morning. Okay. Come on. I ate. Breakfast was amazing. I did not burn the bacon. What happened was it's just been so hot and kind of like smoky in general. And the air fryer had like a lot of kind of smoke coming out of it. So all of that just made the fire alarm go off. The bacon wasn't burnt. It was perfect. It was nice and crispy. But anyway, I ate my breakfast. We went out. I went to work. I did everything I needed to do. I am currently editing a video. So I currently have two or three videos pre-filmed, edited, up, ready to go, and scheduled. I'm pretty sure I have. I'm working on my fourth at the moment, which is my skincare routine. And then I'm going to have this one go up. Um, but I'm currently downstairs because we have someone coming to kind of give us a quote for an air conditioner. So I am kind of trying to clean up the house a little bit. Um, just so when they come, everything's like accessible. They can come in, leave, all that. So I'm going to listen to this video to make sure everything is good and sound on it. Clean up the basement and then I will be moving on. So... So if you're seeing like lighting kind of flash, it's just from my computer screen. So my project pan went up last night. I have a, um, if I could only keep one video go up, so that means if I could only keep one item out of each category of my makeup collection, I'd tell you which one I would choose. I did a deeper dive into my lip product category. So I just shared with you all the lip products I have and I kind of went in depth about them. This one I'm filming is my skincare routine, like my current skincare routine. Um, it's a long video. So far it's 25 minutes. If I can kind of pare it down, I will. It was about 35, so I chopped off 10 minutes. Um, so I'm currently editing that. Then I will edit this one here. I actually put up a poll regarding um, thrifting like summer clothing uh so like thrifting in a try on or if i would do like an active wear video where i just kind of show you all the active wear i currently have i wonder if anyone's voted let's look okay um dashboard i've had one vote okay so i've had one vote for thrifting in that i'll probably end up doing both anyway but yeah, I also want to try that foundation. I don't know if I'm going to try it today. Um, but what I really want to do right now is just listen to this whole video, clean up the basement. Um, maybe I'll do like a little before and after. I'm telling you, I know this looks like a mess, but I've been like working in different areas. Um, and we're doing like renovations and stuff. So it is going to look like a mess for now. So I don't know if I want to show you guys or not because I'm kind of embarrassed by it. And if you're wondering about my hair, it's just so hot out. It feels like 35 or something like that. So I'm not even bothering. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling because I want to listen to this, clean up the basement, get everything good to go. And then we will go from there. I am back. I gave everything a quick tidy. There we go. Like I said, we've got stuff we've got to do in there. So I've tidied everything up in there. I've been tidying up in here. I even tidied up the laundry room. This way, everything is all clean for when the guy needs to come and check out the house for air conditioning. 
Um, fingers crossed it's a decent price. Maybe we'll get some air conditioning. It would be super nice. I ended up putting this on and it actually doesn't look too bad, but it's not very nice on my nose. So I'm wondering if I just need to like exfoliate my nose more. But this the shade was pretty good and it looks fairly good on like all the other parts of my face. So, so far I'm like 50-50 because I just don't know about my nose, but we will see. My video is currently rendering, and then I will upload it. So that's my skincare one, and then I'll upload this one. I need to go tidy upstairs. The Annabelle Stay On Brow Gel, I mean, I used it once, but it kind of seems like there's like bits of like gel that kind of like roll into a ball. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Today might not even be a good makeup day to like try makeup because it's so hot, so. I'm gonna give all of this another whirl probably on like Wednesday. Probably Thursday when I go out to like lunch, I'll give these two another whirl and see um, how they are. But yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the vlog here because you guys have bits of today, you have bits of other vlogs and you guys did what I did Canada today. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end the vlog right here. And fingers crossed, everything goes well for air conditioning so we can get air conditioning in here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be posting more vlogs soon. Bye.